The Tale of the Brave Little Mouse Once upon a time, there was a little mouse who lived in a cozy hole in the wall of a big house. He had everything he needed, cheese, bread, nuts, and water. He was happy and content, but he was also very curious. He wanted to see the world outside his hole and have some adventures. One day, he decided to sneak out of his hole and explore the house. He waited until the people who lived there were asleep, and then he crept out of his hole and ran across the floor. He saw many wonderful things, a shiny clock, a soft sofa, a colorful painting, and a sparkling chandelier. He was amazed and delighted by everything he saw. He came to a door that led to the garden. He pushed it open with his nose and stepped outside. He felt the fresh air on his fur and the grass under his paws. He smelled the flowers and heard the birds singing. He felt a surge of joy and freedom. He ran across the garden, jumping over stones and twigs, chasing butterflies and beetles. He came to a pond, where he saw his reflection in the water. He smiled and waved at himself. He felt very brave and proud. He decided to go further and see what else was out there. He climbed over the fence and entered the forest. He saw tall trees, green ferns, red mushrooms, and blueberries. He nibbled on some of the berries and found them sweet and juicy. He heard a rustle in the bushes and turned to see what it was. He saw a big wolf with sharp teeth and yellow eyes. The wolf saw him too and licked his lips. He growled and said, well, 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 what do we have here? A little mouse who thinks he can wander around my forest? You look very tasty, my friend. I think I'll have you for dinner. The little mouse was terrified. He realized he had made a big mistake by leaving his safe hole. He wished he had never been so curious and adventurous. He wished he could go back home. He tried to run away, but the wolf was faster and blocked his way. The little mouse looked around for help, but there was no one in sight. He felt hopeless and doomed. He decided to make one last attempt to save himself. He gathered all his courage and said to the wolf, Please don't eat me, Mr. Wolf. I'm not worth it. I'm too small and skinny for you. You won't be satisfied with me. Why don't you look for something bigger and better? There is a big house over there where you can find plenty of food. The wolf laughed and said, Nice try, little mouse, but I'm not falling for your tricks. You're just trying to distract me so you can escape. But it won't work. You're mine now. He opened his mouth wide and lunged at the little mouse. But just then, something unexpected happened. A loud roar echoed through the forest. The wolf stopped in midair and looked up. He saw a huge lion standing on a rock above him. The lion had a golden mane, a powerful chest, and fierce claws. He looked down at the wolf and said, Who are you, and what are you doing in my forest? The wolf was stunned and scared. He stammered, I'm sorry, Mr. Lion. I didn't know this was your forest. I was just passing by and I saw this little mouse. The lion interrupted him and said, This little mouse is my friend. I've been watching him since he left his hole. He's very brave and curious. He reminds me of myself when I was young. He looked at the little mouse and said, Don't worry, little mouse. You're safe now. He jumped off the rock and landed next to the wolf. He said to the wolf, Now listen carefully, wolf. 
You have two choices, either you leave this forest right now and never come back, or you stay here and face me. The wolf didn't need to think twice. He turned around and ran away as fast as he could. He never bothered the little mouse or anyone else in the forest again. The lion smiled and said to the little mouse, you see? You don't have to be big or strong to be brave or smart. You just have to believe in yourself. The little mouse thanked the lion for saving him. He said, you're very kind and generous, Mr. Lion. You're the best friend I ever had. The lion said, you're welcome, little mouse. And you can call me Leo. They hugged and became friends. They decided to explore the forest together and have some fun. They saw many amazing things and had many wonderful adventures. They lived happily ever after.